Today's video is an update on the disappearance and murder of Leah Croucher. The article we are going to go over is surrounding the suspect that the police have in mind. This man was a predator. Unfortunately, he has since passed since the discovery of Leah's body on Lockby, in the house in Lockby Drive. The police are trying to put together a timeline of what could have happened and what this man was doing in the area. Prime suspect in Leah Croucher's murder changed appearance to evade police over sexual assault. A convicted sex offender and prime suspect in the murder of teenager Leah Croucher had grown a beard and lost weight to avoid police, detectives believe. Neil Maxwell remains the only person thought to be responsible for the 19-year-old's death after she disappeared in February 2019. Her remains were found more than three and a half years later in a house on Locksbeard Drive in Milton Keynes. Police later named Maxwell, who was on the run at the time of her disappearance, following an alleged sexual assault as their only suspect. But three months on, detectives admitted that they've not found anyone who had seen the 48-year-old in Locksbeard Drive around the time Miss Croucher disappeared, or even in the Milton Keynes area any time after December 2018. Police have now created a computer-generated image of what Maxwell could have looked like at the time Miss Croucher was last seen. Detective Chief Superintendent Ian Hunter said Maxwell knew he was wanted in connection with a sexual assault investigation in Newport Pagnell in November 2018 and had made extensive efforts to evade arrest using fake names and stopping using his mobile phone and vehicles. The investigation has now also established that Maxwell is likely to have changed his appearance to avoid being recognised, he said. He had grown a beard and may have lost weight. Maxwell killed himself two months after Miss Croucher went missing. Could that be guilt? This man was a predator, a horrific individual who was let out of prison numerous times after committing sexual assaults, even involving children and maybe killing somebody was just the, the thing that pushed him over the edge when it came to being guilt-ridden. He is likely to have known that he would be returning to prison if he was arrested and convicted, said Detective Superintendent Hunter. Did you see this person in or around Locksbeer Drive, Thurston, at any time between December 2018 and 20th of April 2019? Thames Valley Police said they have carried out detailed forensic searches and examinations following the discovery of Miss Croucher and still had a dedicated team working on the case. Officers have spoken with and taken statements from hundreds of people, reviewed more CCTV footage and carried out more home-to-home -home inquiries. The force said it was committed to establishing the truth and our investigation will invest the time and resources necessary to do so. So at the time of this update, there still hasn't been a coroner report released when it comes to Leah's body. There's no information on the hows of her murder. But we do know that Maxwell was the only person to have access to the house that she was found in. The putting together the timeline is going to be the thing that the police need to do to be able to close this case and give the family some closure. So if you do have any information, I will leave the details in the description. And hopefully Leah's family will get the closure that they do need. It's a horrendous time for Milton Keynes at the minute. There is articles with people talking about how they feel unsafe. And I get that because until there's closure on this case, as such a community oriented town would feel a bit discomfort in, in what is going on. They don't have closure. The family don't have closure. And hopefully this investigation will come to an end very soon, giving the family some peace. So until next time.